I missed the no recording. I know I preemptively opened it just because I can. Ugh. Also, so this coffee that Spencer got is actually really good. I know you don't do coffee. Nope. But it's like a chicory coffee. It's really yummy. Mm. But I also like, I get the coconut cream creamer and that shit's delicious and good in anything. Like we had a raspberry coffee for a bit and that shit was like life changing. It was. Listen, I tried so hard to like coffee because it sounds like something that should be likable. There's so many different flavors of things. There's all these different additives like that you can add different flavors to all kinds of cool stuff. But nope, I can't even do the smell. Oh, see, I like it because I'm raw dogging life without ADHD meds. The caffeine <laughs> helps my brain. <laughs> I am really happy about this cup, though, like my Disney princess cup. I do like it. I'll have to send you that picture of the jasmine because it is similar, but there's like a little bit more color. Also, I saw a snake tattoo I really want to get. Um <laughs> It looks really cute. Is it because you're a Slytherin? I'm not a Slytherin. I am... <laughs> you're a Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff. I know no. you are. <laughs> no, I was no, gonna, no. Dude, trust me. Um, I was going to make a joke because there was this thing all over TikTok that like snakes, weirdly, are either the lesbian tattoo or they're the bisexual tattoo. And I was like, oh, huh. fuck. Well, I just... I want it. It's so cute. Why? It's, why? I, 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 okay. I just don't know why anyone would want a snake tattoo. So I just didn't know how you. anyone would connect to those you. thoughts i don't know but i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna text it to you i see that and it, it's kind of neat i would never put that on my body um, so i like the moon one and i want to put it you know on my on my left arm on the top so that the little like top crescent moon that has the little dots and the lines goes partially onto my hand and then it goes down and then the snake covers like most of my forearm. It would look dope. Like you're a Slytherin that um, is a closet Sailor Moon lover. I love Sailor Moon. There's I know. No closet but, about it. No, I know. But I'm saying <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that, that, that that's this tattoo gives me that kind of vibe. How about I'm a Sailor Moon person that is a closet Slytherin. Does that work? Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm Ravenclaw. I'm Hufflepuff to a T, baby. Yeah, we can see that a mile away. Yeah, I can care. You just take one look at me, you're like Hufflepuff. <laughs> with, with, with a little Slytherin in her coffee. Dude, listen, I need it every goddamn day. This coffee gets me through not murdering everybody. I'm pretty sure Joe is, like, offended that I'm Ravenclaw. That's a very Slytherin like, thing of him to say. Well, he's Gryffindor, but he, like, I think he takes I offense know. to it because... When I meet, when we meet other people, like because he wears his Harry Potter shirts all the time, and when we meet other people and they find out that he's Gryffindor and I'm Ravenclaw, they auto side because they're you know we when a lot of times when we meet people, they're in schools or like they're so they're educators or different things, um, and um, so they're Ravenclaws too, a lot of them, and then um, so we auto side with Ravenclaws are better, you know, <laughs> they're the smart people. And so he gets so offended by it, I think. Yeah, so <sighs> enough. After all, our fun no, We got distracted. <laughs> we got distracted. Every, dude, every <laughs> single time, I'm telling you. So we read, Take Me to the River. Well, well hold on. We got to welcome oh. the people to oh. the Oh, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Girl, you're stepping ahead of yourself. I know that this is going to be a quick one, but, like, we got to welcome the peeps to the club. <laughs> no, no people. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is the smutty book club where we also avoid human interaction mostly. Yeah. Except for me who is going to see Ludacris tonight. <laughs> and I will live vicariously through you without having to interact with any human bodies. And you can stay home and read, which yep. is what I would normally be doing. <laughs> I'll be living my best life while also getting to see what it's like. I love you so much. Okay, so <laughs> the book that we're discussing. <laughs> Take it take away to the river. Take so, me. <laughs> take me to church. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take me to the river. This book is um, about a girl who is camping with her boyfriend. Yep, we're gonna leave it at that. Her, she's camping with her boyfriend, and his phone starts blowing up, and it's his other girlfriend. So she finds out he, she's been he's been cheating on her for a while, and they're on a trip together. So instead of just blowing up at him. She calmly tells him, like, look, this is what just happened. I just need some space for a second. I'm going to take a walk and I'll, we'll be back to talk about it. And she takes a walk, comes back not too long later. And he and all of their belongings, all of her stuff, her cell phone, her 
clothing, all of her stuff is gone. She is left alone with the clothes on her back in the middle of nowhere. So she starts walking down the road towards what she's hoping is the main road so that she can call for help and a storm is on its way and instead of going down the main road she accidentally took another road and instead finds a naked man bathing in the river and he lives out here in the middle of nowhere on his own and he knows that a storm's coming and is going to wash out all the roads and she's not going to be able to get back so he takes her to his cabin so she is safe and doesn't die out there and this story takes place in forced proximity basically of the two of them staying in his cabin while they're waiting for the roads to open up pretty much yeah yeah sorry i was drinking my coffee so <laughs> i muted myself so that i didn't like slurp, slurp. into the microphone <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god, god. That's pretty much it, right so um yeah that's basically yeah. it which sounds great this book you dive into it thinking oh my gosh seven foot naked man in a river like mountain man um hello thank you yes please give me take me to the river i yeah please um yes but you start out the book and you swerve in the other direction and you think what the heck am i reading because you find out that uh, her boyfriend is actually her foster brother and his parents are her foster parents and that situation makes you gag and go why am i reading this book because if i had known that this trope was in this book. I never would have picked this book up and that this naked river man better be worth this start. So you keep reading. It has potential. <laughs> no, I'm just, it has potential. However, and the sexual tension you can cut with a knife. However, this book is so wordy, wordy in a way that you have to reread sentences. And the sentence structure is so poorly done and commas are just thrown in all willy nilly in ways that don't even make sense that it, it took me out of the book so many times that it was frustrating. And see, I didn't have so much of an issue with the commas. I had other stuff. I'm a grammatical freak. Oh, I, I had other issues are. too. But I, because I, if I'm reading something, I'm going to read it as it's written. So I'm going to pause at the commas. I'm going to take that time to carefully read this constructed world so when i read sentences that say like you have to pause at certain spots and it doesn't make sense that you pause at the certain spots and when you add commas to to reference things you're supposed to be able to like fully have the rest of the sentence flow together and none of that happens. It's just, it's so frustrating. Um, not only that, but I did not know that this was an insta-love story. And we all know how we feel about insta-loves. Yeah, I didn't either. It's weird um, because it wasn't, I felt like it wasn't as insta-love as the other one was. It wasn't, but it was still insta-love because yeah. it's written in a way that it makes you pretend like they haven't only known each other for a week when they're like sitting there like, can't live without each other wanting to move in with each other yeah i thought that was after like three weeks because she was there for a while she, she was there for like two and a half three weeks eventually but the insta love started like within the week oh yeah that's true and it wasn't even worth it because the seat the the smutty scene sucked yeah they weren't they weren't great especially since the sexual tension was there you could cut that with a knife especially in the beginning of the book so like this book made me want so much it hyped me up so much and then it was just like i got to that top of the ladder ready to jump off the diving board and instead of a pool it was cement i uh, i think so i, I, ha I have no i have no <laughs> don't you always every single time so a few things i wasn't fully happy with how often he called her little one that threw me off again i get it she's much smaller than you you are a giant man i mm -hmm. understand but i would have liked it was excessive to, to prove the point it wasn't yeah it, it wasn't as bad as some of the other books and pet names we've had i definitely wrote it's not as bad as the merge series with junior <laughs> but and it's it not even as bad as um what was that book that we read where he was calling her was it the never marry your brother's best friend yes that and one. it was he was calling her that pet name like constantly yes so i mean it wasn't necessarily distracting to the story it was just excessive 
to the point where it wasn't needed. Yeah, I just, I wish that he would have called her. He did call her by her name a couple of times, but like more so towards the end. But I wish he would have called her by her name more than that. I understand like, so yeah, with the with the build up with the sex thing too, like I got over it pretty quickly with him afraid he was going to hurt her because he's so big and this, 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 and blah, 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 blah. I, I don't give a shit. Just give me the sex. Don't give me yeah. the rubbing on rubbing, which is <laughs> like, what are you horny teenagers? Like it can be hot, but like, it can, but not every single freaking chapter for like yes. 80% of the book. Yeah. But I wrote, I'm like the little one thing started getting old as cute mm. as they were together. Cause they were adorable. They were together. cute. And like I said, you could cut the sexual tension with a knife at the beginning. Like it was there. Like, they were adorable. I liked that she picked up and she was so willing to learn all the shit to help him and be outside. And, like, I liked that. I'm mm -hmm. glad that she wasn't, like, this prissy, like, town. Like, granted, I like an enemies to lovers, but that's a whole besides the point. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that she was like, yeah, I'll try this. Like, I want to do this. Like, this sounds great. And, like, she was really willing to do all the outdoor stuff and help and I was like I like that like that made me like their relationship a lot better and it definitely mm -hmm. made the insta love section of it a little bit easier to swallow because oh, it like, was definitely easier to swallow I it's just kind of well you know if I had other things known, were easy to swallow but that's absolutely if I point. had known it was the insta love <laughs> trope if I had known it was a foster sibling relationship trope I probably wouldn't have even given this a chance yeah, so uh, my other note is that sex in the water, by the way, not easy. I They made it sound mm. easy. That shit is not easy, mm -hmm. and it's not comfortable, and it's not great. And you know what? Probably doing it in a river, not the cleanest. So anyways, I don't want that water in there. But anyways, that, that was that. And then my next notes kind of merged together because I wrote it before I continued reading, <laughs> which was the drama with Chris coming to the cabin was too short, and I wanted more, which is true. Mm. That whole section was a really, really short. It was like, what, a page? And I was like, where's Yeah, the I feel like a lot of his drama was dropped. Like, yeah, but meeting then I the, was like, the, the girl he's cheating with was just like dropped. It was started and then just dropped. And, you yeah, know, it so was just. Those, yeah, those were a little quick. I was, and then I wrote, okay, fine. The whole More thing drama. was a quick read. It was yeah, the like, whole book was quick. Yeah. I mean, I'm wondering if it was supposed to be that way. I don't know. And I was like, it was it, short. It was only like yeah. 200 something. Like, it was very short. Yeah. So, I mean, realistically, like, I did write more drama did ensue and it did wrap up kind of nicely, which was good. I did like that it wasn't, I do enjoy the cop scene and all the down, that stuff felt kind of more fleshed out than whatever happened at the cabin. And then of course, whatever happened with the girl later on, I think this was the only drama that was more written out more. And then I did say, I even did like the foster dad. <laughs> Yeah, I did like him and that he originally seemed like he was going to side with the with foster brother. And then he goes, are you fucking kidding me? You did all this stuff. And I and he fucking went off yeah. on him. And it was so good. I also write, I do like a hap an HEA. I'm a ha fan of those. But then I also wrote that I really, really liked his friends. Yeah, a lot. Well, and so they were introduced in for that reason because they have their own books in the series. Oh, I'm so excited! Is Phoenix's next? I because... think so. Yeah, that's why he was introduced as the girl that he <sighs> wants. To, yes, that's why. I thought um, it was so cute, even though the word, even though the name Phoenix has a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth from mm. the last book, only because of not because of the book, because the book was the one that ruined right. my soul. I just didn't like the different names. The but whole, yeah. I probably wouldn't pay for it <laughs> no i'd wait till it comes back on kindle unlimited yeah uh, so especially that's... when you're paying that much for a very short read that's clearly not run through a beta reader or an editor because not only are is the stuff way too wordy it's not super grammatically correct but also why are you so careful separating point of views into chapters and then like two or three chapters randomly sporadically throughout you just like screw that and then have that chapter be randomly separated dude throughout. it threw me off so it, much when yeah I, like... it was it was hard to read and that's the problem because it was a very short read but it took longer than necessary because of the problems with the writing yeah that was yeah and formatting yeah that was a uh, that was rough. I will say I liked the cover art. <laughs> yeah, I kept yeah going back to that. Me too. <laughs> but it matches. He had it long does not. hair. He really? Because he had longer hair and he was he built. Did. And 
Yeah, but he had a beard. He has a beard. Not on the cover. Oh, it's not a long beard. It's like a, it's a shorter beard. Right. He's he has got, Mountain yeah, Man. Okay. Yeah. I know. Right. I wish. You, right. I like pick, that pick, though. Uh, yeah, I like the cover. Yeah. Pick a lane, lady. I love the cover. Just write mm-hmm. the book I to kept, the cover. Exactly. Mm, it was so I good. get it. You have to pick, you know, your stuff, but like either find something that matches your character or if it's going to be that close it a little bit like that wouldn't have made the story any different yeah definitely i know that's nitpicky but no it's not nitpicky i like it so if the cover is the best part of your damn book like and it doesn't match yeah so bottom line i felt like the premise of this book hyped me up in such a way that i wanted it to be gold and for me it was fool's gold i love you (laughs) they it, I'm no, sorry. I get I it. No, I get it. I get I it. I was tricked. I'm sorry. Like I wanted, I want, I wanted excellence, and that's probably my fault for hyping it up in my head. But I wanted this mountain man to take me to the damn river, and he did not. Listen, and he didn't even take you to church. No, he did not. I didn't even get to sing in my head during this book. <laughs> I sang preemptively, but not during. <laughs> I love you. Damn shit. <laughs> oh my god. So, oh fuck. All right. What does Amazon say? I don't even know if I want to know what Amazon says. So Amazon has 1,447 ratings, which is not like the least amount, but also not the most. And it's a 4.4 out of 5. I I quit. I have a hard time finding like, they just say like, this was a nice change. This was a sweet romantic story. The characters were interesting. A recommendation. Um, Some people, someone said that there was good characters and decent development. Uh, This book is very much about, if not insta love, pretty quick love, which I understand that. But they said the only complaint is that I have is that the male character is given friends and a background and it feels like the female main character doesn't get the same treatment. She has nothing. Yeah, I do agree with that one. So like, there's that. I like, I liked it. It wasn't, I want to probably give it like a three just because... There was definitely aspects of the story that I wish there was more of. I wish there was just, there was, I wish there was more. And I understand that maybe it was written to be small, but like, when you have a big giant man, you give me a big giant story. It was a two for me. And there was a, there's one review on Instagram, um, Instagram, in- Amazon. Wow. My brain. You good? That. It's labeled Insta Love. It says beautiful cover art, but not much on the inside. Unfortunately, this was all fluff and no grit. I was hoping there'd be more depth, conversation. Everything was glazed over, no emotion, connection. Even the adult scenes weren't worth it. They were just okay and seemed obligatory. An okay read for me, unfortunately. I agree. It sounds like a dude I've dated. That is the exact description. Really beautiful on the outside, not much going on on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I say and, it too. Oh my god! And weirdly enough, the dude was really tall, so <laughs> he had to be like six four. Like, so here we go. Very beautiful on the outside, not a lot going on. That's so funny. So, like, example of one of the comma situations. Oh god. So actually, comma. I wasn't as upset about that comma as I should have been. So actually, I wasn't as upset about that as I should have been. So can you go actually as I should have been and have that make sense? No, no, you cannot. Yeah, it was, uh, it was rough. And it just doesn't. So may, so fine. Put the first one in actually, comma. I wasn't a, as upset about that as I should have been. Sure. I'm sorry. No, you're fine, dude. <laughs> I, I get it. So cucumber rating. You know, because it's out of 10. I'm going to honestly probably go with like a three to be fair. Like that's being generous. Well, because there was still some stuff. So like it doesn't mean it was good. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> at least it was still there. That's the thing is with three, you know it's there. It's just not great. Fine. I'll go with two then. Okay. So see, there we go. <laughs> what was your favorite character? Mm. Or who was your favorite character? Ooh, I'm trying to think. Honestly, I didn't feel a real connection to these characters. That's I my didn't problem. either. Probably, I liked how cute Phoenix was at the end, so I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, Phoenix was a good character. The best character was probably the dad. I yeah, even though we don't, we didn't get much we, of him. We got I like liked. two lines, but he was and great. somehow he had more depth than those two lines in most of the book. I know. Ugh. <laughs> uh, least favorite, the obvious, Chris, Roxy. Oh. Mm-hmm. I see the only thing is is the only reason I'm saying Chris is because like well, we knew he was a douche canoe that is true like he was written as a douche canoe but That's Roxy true. was told that this dude was two timing and she was all just like okay that works for me and then went and lived at his place and trashed, and trashed it. it that's true okay all right I will like, I will what kind of vile human well <laughs> homebreaking whore 
<laughs> oh good to god Ugh, yeah. that, was yep. a, that was a rough one to get through so i had i i, I feel sad because i had such hopes. I, hope. I know hi ho hi ho no do not read this book no no <laughs> sorry uh, i had high high hopes for yeah. high book. high hopes for the reading no. i love you see <laughs> look at you go man <laughs> I have problems. <laughs> uh, so, Wheel of Fate. If you want to read along, here's your chance to figure out the book that we're going to read. And I don't have sound, so I'm going to make that one. Click, 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 click. You got to click it. Click, 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 click. It is called Unfurl. Ooh, that's from my list. I think that was recommended from TikTok, I think. Or maybe maybe it was a... A Facebook group or something. Unfurl. It's an age gap romance virgin question. Mark. Oh. Okay. So, so if you want to read along with us and you want to read Unfurl and let us know what you think so that you can hear what we think, go ahead and head and download Unfurl. It is by Elodie Hart. Well, I know that this is probably definitely a lot shorter episode than the last time, but this book really didn't have much to talk this about. This book so. was freaking shorter than they should be. It was shorter than some of my shortest relationships. So there's that. I'm not saying and, something. And we've had, a, we know <laughs> I've had a lot. So, <laughs> so um, hopefully uh, read along with this book and tune in the next time so we can cover it. And see where life takes us. Not to the river. Yeah, sadly. Unfortunately. Any unfortunately. Anything else you want to say, Ariel, to the peeps? I think I'm just too sad and disappointed. Listen. I will find you a mountain man book that will give you all of the things you want. Because you are five foot two and you need someone who's seven feet <laughs> tall to just throw okay. you around. I don't think I should admit this, but apparently I'm only five one now. Oh, well, that's okay. You're cute and compact. Whoever told me I was five two, but they were lying probably. I think they were better. just lying because I think they were just like rounding up because. Ever since I had Joe, every time I go to the doctors, they just tell me I'm 5'1". Because I don't think you're supposed to shrink at this age. You do. My, my grandmother shrinks. Yeah. But then again, she's Your grandma. grandmother. <laughs> like I said, I don't think you're supposed to shrink at this age. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.